the OBS studio with the simple command sorry alright so you can have PPAs or whatever technique you want to use I'm sorry for this for installing the OBS studio okay you can use this website there are many techniques for all the OS's you want okay to install it is installed now it's very fast okay so whatever technique you want to build from scratch or you want to use snap packages i would suggest apt if you can which is generally available in linux so we just installed this i think it was already installed this is a plugin which we'll be using to create a fake the cam okay so next is we create the fake fake webcam using video for linux which we just installed okay next is i think uh, these all these commands which i'm firing uh, will be available in, in the link in the description below all right so okay uh, so this was already there it's a very big one i did not want it to waste your time okay we installed this now we just follow along create a build directory add the option for cmake here you can just make j and i'm doing j why because i'm showing off the number of cores i have haha <laughs> there was no error right okay so don't make in stop and it's done so now we can start playing all right go start obs okay so look at this beautiful interface so i'll just add a source it's very easy so this is me hi Mm, I'll make it full screen. All right, get in the center as much as I can. Okay, so I'll add another scene, which will be fake. All right, so this fake was a video I recorded a while ago. Means just right now. It's a local file. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I want to loop it. Yes because the video i'm using is very small and uh, so this is the video all right click ok and we are ready to give our exam uh, it was very small okay you can switch back whenever you want you can go here uh, this is our video path which we are using the start streaming right can close it and just minimize this one okay i have opened a new tab i'll just go to meet.google.com i'll start a new meeting you can use whatever you can use the same steps for whatever streaming platform or video calling platform you want just make sure in settings you have obs cam all right just make sure you don't start the meeting before okay so you don't want to give the privileges of your camera to this meet you want to give the privileges of your camera to your OBS studio all right so make sure it is done first you can use whatever resolution all right so in maximum resolution i want to make it sound right yeah i want to look very clear okay we have started the meeting so this is how our friends will see us who are conversing with us on our video you can make real all right hi and just transition into fake whenever you want to cheat in your exam or you want to sleep in your meetings all right so there's one more trick trick i'll show you okay so this is okay you can install a ip camera app in your android mobile phone which already has very good resolution cameras okay 
uh, media source okay uh, what happens is like these webcams are very expensive even i have observed and i wanted to find a cheaper solution so i'll start streaming and then i'll copy this i think there's some problem with the delay of audio and video uh, you can manage it by tinkering around somewhere okay just it is not a local file paste the ip address okay there will generally be the video entire or video will be on slash video just ip address the port number and the video option okay and we have it okay even you can have this thing recorded already all right so this will be a good option oh, for cheating or having a fake audio a fake video all right or even these two things are not bad i'm, I'm sorry for the, I, I think the microsoft webcam has very bad low light images and it is actually very old that's why there's so much difference in the feed and please excuse me for the mess in the background okay you can increase the duration you can decrease the duration time uh, i think like this you do okay you can make it faster or slow if you want just try to make it as similar as possible if you want to be switching for these purposes you know what i mean okay so we'll end the video here and i've tried to make it very short and simple okay bye i'll try to make one for windows as well uh, but i'm not sure how to do it in uh, this thing how to keep privileges of your ips and usb in a virtual machine and i don't want to install windows on my machine because i i won't say i hate it i'm not a big fan of windows <laughs> okay bye